Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get up in here, get up in here. Hit that like button on your way in. Welcome back to TD Fans Talk, home of the real Miami Dolphin fans. Punch that like button on your way in the building. Breaking news, the Miami Dolphins. We got our guy, baby. We got our guy. It's Super Bowl time, baby. <laughs> Listen, we're going to talk about it, man. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to give y'all my real thoughts on it. I know I've been on Twitter acting hyped about it, but we'll give you my real thoughts on it. Um, up and down, plus all these other little um, little moves that the Dolphins um, are making right now. Y'all punch that like button. I'm out here um, grilling right now. I'm grilling, so um, step it away for a second. Grilling some ribs, sausage, burgers, and all that stuff for the kids. But hit that like button. I'm going to dive in and tell y'all what I think. <laughs> Shout out to the homies. Sent me the um, donation in the cash. I appreciate you, man. For all those who donate to the channel, um, I appreciate y'all too. Um, and all of the mod, shout out to my brother Bree Glenn in the house. Jose, I see you. Vivian, what's up, girl? Um, Oneron in the building. What up, homie? Shy guy. Yeah, um, shout out to the mod squad. Shout out to all the members of the channel. Salute to all y'all, man. We about to get started. Yeah, I'm in Texas. Y'all know I'm always in Texas. You know, a few, three, four, five times a year hanging out. All right, somebody said finally TD Live. We're just about to watch the news. <laughs> what up, Myra? Put it over here. All right, let's go ahead and get in. Shout out to the homie Zach. Shout out to you, man. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. Um, we made some moves. Um, Kendall Fuller, cornerback. I like the move because it's better than anything that we have on the roster right now. Give you my real honest assessment of Kendall Fuller. I really do feel good about this move. Now, mind you, I think he led the league last year and gave up eight or nine touchdowns. That's not good, but it's a solid move. He's still a solid player. Unfortunately, you know, he's brittle with the fact that he gave up some touchdowns last year, and it just wasn't a good look. Um, but I really do like the move. I feel like he's a solid player. I hopefully he can hone in and don't give up those touchdowns. The good thing is we have a pair of really good safeties that can help in that regard. But in the open field and stuff like that, he's a really, really good, solid player. Um, just hope he improves in that area because we can't afford to give up touchdowns, all right? So that's kind of how I really feel about that. I like our secondary. Um, going into war with this secondary, I feel it real comfortable with. I feel like we're done in the secondary. They're going to bring a few more camp bodies in and a few more players, of course. But... I feel good about the secondary right now. Um, and I feel like it's kind of like um, it's an upgrade from last year slightly, man. That still ain't saying much, but I feel like it's better than last year. Barely, but it is. All right. Sorry, y'all might see that smoke coming across my face because I'm grilling out here. Um, but yeah, um, but the bigger issue with this corner move with Kendall Fuller, what did I tell y'all? Do your boy be right or do your boy be right? Which one, man? What I tell y'all? I told y'all we're gonna start. Cam Smith gonna start, and if Greer gonna spend more than six million dollars a year on a cornerback, what I tell you? He hiding his flaws because he don't believe in Cam Smith. And what did he do? He's hiding Cam Smith again. Fangio was right. Listening to all of these weirdos out here try to smear Fangio for the sake of the team to make themselves seem right. That's all they do. They smear people to make themselves, when they wrong, they smear somebody to make it seem like that's why they were wrong. Well, we didn't expect Fangio to be acting like that. No, Fangio was right. Because if you believed in Cam Smith, you don't spend that kind of money on no corner. You got your guy in Cam Smith, you go get a whole bunch of backups for two or three million. What did I tell y'all was going to happen? I said, Cam Smith, they going to stick us with Cam Smith this year, and he going to start. And if Greer going to get a corner more than $6 million, then he ain't going to stick us with him, but he hiding his failures. He, he hiding them flaws once again. How many times I got to be right on this about Greer? Told y'all, man. It's textbook, man. It, it, it's, it's textbook. Study it and you'll know what's going to happen. Y'all got to hit that like button, though. We got almost 300 people watching. Y'all got 36 likes. So let's, let's at least do your boy right on that. Shout out to the homie Ryan, man. Showing love with the donation. Sorry, that's smoke coming to my eye. 
I'm um cooking the charcoal right now. Fuller can um play slot though. Cam Smith can play opposite side of Ramsey. Cater is slightly overrated. Yeah, but you committed in um your boy um Nick Needham. I mean, come on, we ain't gonna have that kind of log jam. We not finna have that kind of log jam. What you gonna have? Needham, um, Kohu, and the other, the small little name cornerback. I forgot his name. No, you ain't gonna have all them boys. And you and I know this guy can play slot, but you put him on the boundary. Man, we already know. I'm gonna be shocked if Cam Smith come out and camp and ball out. And if he do, thank you, Lord. We are saved. But it's sad when you got to rely on a guy who barely saw the field to save us. But that man going to be on the outside. I don't know what y'all talking about. He's going to be on the outside, y'all. All right? Um, but that's what he doing. Beat my so Chris Greer want to play with me, huh? So Chris Greer want to play with me. Chris Greer want to disrespect TD, huh? He want to disrespect you, boy, huh? He want to go sign Benito Jones, huh? I felt good about Fuller. I felt good about Kendall, and right after that, you want to go sign Benito Jones? For real, though? For real, that's what you're going to do? Chris Greer, you going to play with me like that? You talking about one of the worst defensive tackles in the entire NFL? That makes two, by the way. Matter of fact, he got three of them. He went and picked up three defensive tackles that all are complimentary to Raekwon Davis. I know he was originally a Dolphin. One year. Why you think that was? That man in every statistical category at defensive tackle position didn't rate over a 35 last year on PFF. And miss me, Derek, talking about hand is not bad. You don't get what I'm saying here. We're talking about Christian Wilkins' replacement. You mean to tell me you got Zach Zeeler and you bring all three of these guys in? You better be picking a defensive tackle at 21. I already outlined the plan, y'all. Defensive tackle at 21. Go get a center in the second round. Move um, Brewer from center to left guard. And we tight. Then all and, and, and now we just gotta hope we don't get hurt, but we gonna get hurt. Some like seven of them gonna get hurt this year. I don't know what to do, man. Night Wolf with the donation said, "TD, save me some ribs. Uh, much love. Hope the fam good. The fam's great, bro. Thank you, though. Thank you, brother. Appreciate the love, man. Um." We got complimentary third round pick, so. Don't do that, uh, crap. What that supposed to do? And remember, ain't the comp compensatory picks are next year. Thanks. And another thing, everybody like, yeah, but we got all these draft picks next year, man. You got all these late round draft picks that Chris Greer are not gonna use. First of all, he's about to trade some of the draft picks in the draft just to get in the third and fourth round this year. Y'all got to understand, we up and down this roster right now bargain shopping, which ain't nothing wrong with, but at the same token, I, I, I listened to Omar Kelly earlier today, him and um, Poopar, and um, it's fascinating. They admitted, they said, within the journalistic circle, when they had their conversations, they all been agreed that last year was the best roster the team was ever going to have around Tua, ever. And no matter what they do this offseason, in order to even have a roster as good as last season, Tua's going to have to make the most massive jump ever. Not just a little jump. It's going to have to be massive. You think Tua got any more jump in him? We got to hope. We got to We got to try to realize how much of a downfall is about to be. Hope that it don't slide too much. I got you. But I'm behind you. We're going to get Fisk, bro. Okay. All I'm saying to you is no matter what we do this offseason, at this point, we're not going to have a better roster than we had before from a talent standpoint. It doesn't get any better than from here. And what y'all need to understand, the, 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 the whole team in general next year, people don't realize it's going to be worth. And stop coming at me 
Stop coming at me talking about, oh, bro, we got we got 50 some million in cap space next year. No, you don't. Y'all don't realize. Some of y'all don't understand nothing about the cap space. Y'all going on spot track and, uh, and over the cap right now and looking at next year. No. Once they send in the structures of these deals and you see how many of them are structured to take bigger hits next year and all of that, when it's all said and done, the Miami Dolphins will be in negative next year. Now they're going to try to make a lot of cuts next year and they're going to get back up into the positive, but they're going to start out more than likely in a worse situation than they did this year. And when you see Waddle's contract come through, when you... My bad, y'all. I cut out for a second. When you see all Waddle, Phillips, um, a lot of these guys' contracts come through Holland, oh, they're going to start eating up a lot of the future cap numbers. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be tough. See, you need to be the general manager. Uh, yeah, I would love to, but at the end of the day, that ain't happening. <laughs> It ain't happening. You know what we need? We don't need a general manager. We need a guy who's going to criticize everything the team does to make them think twice about what they do. See, I'm going to tell y'all, you always need somebody like that. You need a guy who's going to, you know, tell you the, the possible ramifications of your moves too. You can't be gambling at, at, the, at the craps table, at the blackjack table, you know. The dealer got a bus car, but you hitting anyway. That's just gambling. You got to know. You got to say, are you willing to take the consequences that's going to come along with it? Is it fiscally responsible? I mean, nice. I mean, I'm selling. Somebody said no rule says you have to re-sign Phillips and Waldo. Phillips especially can be easily replaced. You're not wrong about that. But look at, yeah, more high draft picks that you wasted. If they're not gonna be career players with a team, then you're waste you wasting the pick. Toad, Toad, That's what you're looking for, career players, man. So there is no rule that say you gotta re-sign Phillips and and Waddle and Holland, but you gotta replace them. And what are the chances of getting better than some of those guys? I know I was on your team, but now I hate you. I hate. CB said Greer cooking, TD. I told you, bro. Yeah, cooking. He hiding Cam Smith like I told you, bro. He just hid Cam Smith. Fangio was right. But what y'all think? What he building right now is a Super Bowl contender? Please tell me. Yeah. Uh huh? I can't hear you. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. One thing about TD, he will always complain about something. If it's something to complain about, yeah, because I believe, I don't believe in perfection, but I believe in the thing that's closest to it, whatever that is, that's what I believe in. And in order for you to even get to that closest thing to perfection, you got to you gotta complain about the small, the big, everything. You got to complain about it all. You want to fix it all. You want to try your very best to make better of every single thing that you can. No stone unturned. That's a winner's mentality. Because you will never um, fix it all. But if you're taking that approach and that pursuit, trust me, you're a lot farther than a lot of people. The people who don't take that approach, I'm sorry. That's why they always failing. Or why they don't receive, see the results that other people get. They're not calculated. They're not processing. They don't go off of possibility. They go off of probability. Anything is possible, but it's stupid to think, go off of that approach. You go off of probability. If it's a high probability, you rock with it. If it's a low probability, you don't go in blind and say it's possible. That's why you always fail. Not you particular. I'm just saying in general, the mentality here. That's how I live my life. And that's why, you know what? God has blessed me with that mentality because it, it takes me a long way. Thanks to God. I'm not a glass half empty type guy. I'm half empty and half full. Because guess what? If it's half empty, I'm trying to fill it. Fill it. If it's if it's half full, I'm trying to empty it. Whatever, however you want to look at it. Don't just, don't just put me with the regular stigma. The difference is up here, I got that little extra piece. 
Glass half full, then I'm trying to fill it. Don't stop me at just half full. No, I want to fill it. And the problem is y'all don't like whenever I try to fill it. So whenever I talk about negative stuff, that's just an attempt to fill it. Some of y'all got to change y'all thought process and y'all mentality and screw football. I'm talking about life. Ain't buying the hype. 10 win team at best. Man, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, man. Every team has holes. And Glenn, some have more than others. <laughs> That's the point. You can't just stop at every team has holes. Some have more than others. And the ones have uh, less than others are the ones who are trying to turn over every stone. You can't just stop and say everybody got holes, so deal with it. No, you try to fill them all. And when you fall short, you're going to be above the people who just stop at everybody got holes. Like, like y'all got to get this mentality in your head, man. Think about it. See, this ain't even a playoff roster. Fuller is a good signing. However, if Justin Fields' trade stock is dropping, why hasn't um, GM Chris Greer gotten him? Man, this is about Tua, man. Oh, listen, can we stop? The moment Justin Fields come to Miami, I, it, it'll be an insane moment. Okay? But that ain't happening. Yeah, you, I think I trust Chris Greer to do something like that. It ain't happening. Tua, 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 it ain't no more, okay? It's all Tua. We rocking with Tua. Tua time. Let's go. Let's go. Tua time. Let's go. It is what it is. We have 89. I can worship Tua. <laughs> Said, TD, do you feel Greer would have um, on the hot seat along with Mike McDaniel? Oh, we about to find out after this season. We going to find out after this season, man. All right, my charcoal's starting to cook, man. But, yeah, man, I just wanted to stop through, drop this on y'all, man. These are my thoughts. We got a tight end from the Chiefs. And Tyreek on Twitter talk about, yeah, this is the big move I was waiting on. Stop. 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 Tyreek, man, Tyreek need to shut his mouth or they going to end up drug testing him. Be quiet, Tyreek. We ain't got time for no suspension because you might be on something. Just saying. Just saying. Um, but yeah, man, I'm about to burn the food up. The food ain't even on there yet. I was cooking the charcoal for the for my grillers. They know you gotta cook the charcoal first, you know, before you just start. So you really effing think Justin is better than Tua? Um, yeah, you're dumb ASF. Um, Man, I, sometimes, bro, I, I don't, you ain't even worthy of clapping back to, bro. Sometimes I just feel bad for certain people. I'm not even going to say your name. The chat can't even read your chat. I didn't even show it because it was hidden for me to see if I wanted to show it or not. So that way you nobody get to see how ignorant you are, how sad it is. But I'll read the comment again. So you really effing think Justin is better than Tua? You, yeah, you're dumb ASF. Um, I didn't say the man was better than Tua. No, you can go now. I said that he's a better playmaker than Tua. Right now, Tua is a better quarterback than Justin Fields. I said if Mike McDaniel can be who we all think he is and make Justin Fields a better passer, then and only then will he be better than Tua. Okay, so coming in just because I'm saying go get Justin Fields, I didn't even say to start as the backup for all I care. But some of y'all are just so ignorant. You just come in and I say go get Fields, and all of a sudden, no, oh, you're a dummy. Da, da, da. You're in your feelings about Tua. Stop. Some of y'all grown men need to stop getting in your feelings about Tua. It ain't a good look. It ain't. And then, especially when you got the message wrong, I want to bring in fields as insurance just in case Tua is trying to ask for astronomical numbers that he ain't worth. Just in case Tua is trash this year, I want to have an insurance policy. 
and Fields may not even turn out to be an insurance policy. But Mike McDaniel, work with him. See if you can make something out of it. And if you do, good. If you can't, oh, we lost again anyway. But stop jumping to these conclusions, sounding ignorant and being disrespectful of me just because. And I'm not going to even show the comment and share who you are. So you get that personal message from me. Calm down. The man is married. You will never be able to marry him. I don't think he goes that way. I don't think he's down low like that. And if he was, I ain't saying nothing wrong with it for those who like that. But stop. You got to disrespect me just to protect you, the love of your life that don't love you. Stop. Stop it. It's not that serious. Man. Gosh. Shout out to the homie William Ray. He said just dropping by to say hello. Love your coverage on this channel. Um, and your new one. Thank you, brother. He said, looking forward to seeing what kind of team we have after the draft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait either, man. That'll give us a better picture how we execute in that part. Okay? Who messing you, TD? Ain't nobody messing with me. They know, man. Hey, TD, how do you really feel about our secondary? Uh, I like our secondary. No, 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 real talk. I like our secondary now. Now, don't get me wrong, I ain't very fond on, you know, um, him giving up all those touchdowns last year. But it's solid. This is a solid move to replace Xavier Howard. I knew we weren't going to really, like, upgrade, upgrade, but it's a solid move to replace him. But it tells me all I need to know. Once again, I was right about Chris Greer hiding Cam Smith on the roster. Please, Cam Smith, come ball out and tell us you're that dude so that we can move past this. Because this is Greer's last straw for me. Ms. Channing Tindall. Hey, hit him on the roster officially this year now. And Cam Smith look like he getting hit. But hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully we see something in the regular season. But I'm about to roll, y'all. My charcoal ready to get the, get this meat on the grill. I'm about to hang out with the boys over here playing their little Nintendo Switches, having some fun. Um, and I'll be back to y'all. I'm going to check some more of this free agency out. Once I get this meat going, I might even go live again. I was... um. And pause, by the way. Um, but, yeah, um, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Fins up no matter what. And, again, man, some of y'all chill out, man. Stop making assumptions of what I'm saying. Ask me why I feel a certain way. TD, you don't like that. Why? TD, you said that. Why? Ask me why before you start, man. You're the biggest CD, blah, 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 blah. Because half the time you don't even got the context of why I feel the way I feel. And stop telling me on social media you can't be happy about nothing. Gosh, I'm evaluating stuff. Do I not give you a perfect reason why I'm not happy about it? Link, you're gonna get yes, and then everybody that tell me you can't be happy about nothing, then I say, okay, tell me about the move right now we just made, why I should be happy. Well, I'm not saying you should be happy about that, but you can't be happy about nothing. You can't make this up. You can't make it up. I don't care about the strengths. I care about the weakness because they keep coming up to bite us. Well, he's good at run um, stopping. Yeah, but he's terrible in pass coverage. Up and then when the regular season starts, oh, my gosh, he got cooked again. Man, gosh, man, we need somebody. I tried to tell you. The NFL is about matchups. Team scout before the game. This guy's weak at that. This guy's weak at that. Some teams determine they first read off of your weakness. So the only thing you need to be talking about is when you bring a guy in, what's their weakness, and do we have enough around them to overcome it? And I said, hey, I'm good with um, the corner we got because we got good safeties too, so I don't think he'll give up as many touchdowns. And therefore, I love what, what we brought there. That's a positive thing, but I gave you a reasoning. Love y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. Fins up no matter what. Like I said, I'll see y'all soon. Um, we can have a straight team. If, if, if Greer execute the right way going forward, we can still be a really good team. But it won't be as good as last year. We won't see that for a long time. Love y'all. See you soon. Peace. I'm out.